the first one of its kind, the most expensive Fortnite account was banned, seemingly permanently locked to never be played again until today. Launching in three, two, one. Oh my god, internet, hello. I don't know how long it's been since you guys have seen a video of mine, but look, right here, the title of this video is not clickbait. I have just received word from Epic Games themselves that the 1 million V-Bucks account from 2018, the first time this has ever happened, as far as I know, has just been unbanned, not clickbait. Yeah, baby, that's what I've been waiting for. For those of you guys in the community who have kept up with me, like, look, I am not a YouTuber anymore, but I had to make this video. We are just gonna get into this, pop up a timer real quick, five seconds, Hit that like button. Within the next five seconds, anybody who's played Fortnite should have a reason to be excited about this. Okay, so I wanna start this with a quick story time. So for those of you guys who don't know me, hi, my name is Landon. So basically I started as a young lad playing Fortnite at the end of 2017. And from 2017 to 2019, Fortnite literally consumed my life. Some of my favorite, most notable moments or memories from when I was playing Fortnite and making content were when I gifted people battle passes. I think I've gifted more than $10,000 worth of battle passes. Another memorable moment some of you may remember is when I bought Pokimane the Galaxy skin. There was this like a limited edition skin that you could only get if you got this tablet. I bought it, I sent it to her, even to this moment. I don't know if she ever used it. Maybe one of my favorite memories was when we did the Quian Lost Fortnite Girl saga where basically I decided to play Protect the President with my friends and three of my friends matched with this random default girl who we decided to call the president. Right now, you are the president. We will follow you, we will die by you, we will do whatever you want. You'll always yeah, have a bodyguard on you at all times. That's annoying. That's annoying? Oh what do you mean God. it's annoying? No. All of the comments were like, wait a second, does Quian have a voice changer? So this turned into a whole saga. I literally never heard from Quian ever again. More notable moments that people in the Fortnite community probably know me for is like when I started doing the custom skin modding. My friends and I would edit pack files, making it so that the skins that we would see on our side were totally different. Like for example, we were able to put a satellite skin on and got this viral meme. What even monster is this? <laughs> What? Is this satellite that big in game? Yeah. No, dude. So I heard that they could do custom skins, but I didn't. What the heck? But it is safe to say one of the most viral things that I did, most inspired moment in Fortnite was when I decided to buy 1 million V-Bucks. For those of you guys who don't know, this was a very long and expensive process. I basically had to go and spend a few hundred dollars every single day buying 13,000 V-Bucks at a time. Basically do a million divided by 13,000, get that number, multiply it by 100. Because by the way, the first time I bought a million V-Bucks, Fortnite was still charging $100 per 13,000 rather then I think it's $80 now, so thanks Fortnite. Essentially, I just streamed myself playing Fortnite, buying V-Bucks for about 20 days until we hit the million V-Bucks mark, but I had no idea it would do as well as it did. I started getting tweets left and right. These viral Fortnite accounts were tagging me. I was at my friend's house the day after and they showed me something that had 500,000 likes. It was back when Fortnite was super big. Not only was I the first person to buy a million V-Bucks, once. I'm also the only person to buy a million V-Bucks twice. I don't think the face cam will really show you well, but this, this account has a million V-Bucks on it too. The TLDR, everything was working great. And then on October 1st, 2018, my Fortnite account was banned. Really random. And if you go and check out the YouTube channel around this time, like my videos were doing really well. I was doing a lot of very novel content. The given reason for why I was banned is because I was editing pack files and that's cheating. It's against the terms of service. There were so many other YouTubers doing it at the time. So I really did feel like I just got the short end of the stick. Obviously so much time has passed since this happened, but at the end of the day, I definitely learned many lessons from this, but the first one of its kind, the most expensive Fortnite account was banned, seemingly permanently locked. Now is the time where we're gonna log in. This is not just a big moment for me. This is a big moment for the whole community that kept up with this uh, whole drama. I'm just gonna go ahead and launch the 1 million V-Bucks account for the first time in nearly five years. Launching in three, two, one. Oh, dude, we're connecting. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, logging in. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I must have so many items to unlock. Dude. I have so many. Oh my gosh, I'm just going through like all of them. Ladies and gentlemen, people around the world watching, we're back on the account. It's that simple. We're at 1,004,200 V-Bucks. 
This account just feels so ancient. I don't even remember the skin. So this account got banned so early, it's it's obviously not gonna have the sickest skins out there, but... <gasps> Dude, the galaxy skin. You guys are gonna have to tell me if there's a super rare, like six skin on here. Yeah, I, I know the locker is not that crazy. You gotta, you gotta give me a slack. It, it was banned for a very long time. Okay, another thing that I really wanna see is my friends list, just because it's been so long. Look at this. Happy power, just verb. I freak out about this way more if I was still a content creator, but I'm pretty sure the Quian account should be on here. Oh. <gasps> Okay, wow. Dude. Oh my goodness. None of my friends from back in the day are actively playing Fortnite. There's a couple people just in the launcher waiting. But this is the career statistics on this account. 74 wins, total eliminations. I'd say this is like, oh, it's pretty all right for somebody who was banned 1800 days ago. So with all of this being said, like I wanna give a big thank you to Epic Games. Seriously, Epic, thank you so much for unbanning the account. I am not gonna break terms of service ever again intentionally. If I do, please like call me or email me right away because it was a total accident. All right, I don't know how else to say this Fortnite, I literally need your help. As you guys already know, not only do I have one Fortnite account I have to worry about, I, I now have two. Although I cannot stress enough how thankful I am, we are still dealing with a massive problem. The reason why I say I need you guys' help is because I am genuinely going to let the Fortnite community decide what happens here. For a little bit of behind the scenes insight, for the last week or two, my team has been making a parody game to be accessed in the AR app, Arc on the App Store, go get this. Now I'm not gonna tell you all about augmented reality, in this, but I will tell you this. This is not the experience itself, but right now I am engaging with this digital asset using the controller, which the idea was we're gonna make an event that requires the controller, and this is how I was gonna decide who was going to win the 1 million V-Bucks laptop as well as the account. Now, as you guys know, we still have the laptop and we still have the account, and I could technically still do this whole event, but if I give away this laptop and it has the Fortnite account preloaded in it, this account will most likely get banned immediately. It would probably be funny for the community, but but, you know, if that account gets banned, then the OG one will probably get banned too, and then we're back at square one. Now, regardless, this event is going to happen. You will need an AR controller, which you can get at arc.com. Go check it out. There's only like 200 left available. But now it's looking like this event is either for the 1 million V-Bucks laptop and account, or it's just gonna be for the laptop. I am going to let you, the Fortnite community, the people at home, you watching this right now, decide what happens in this situation. It's basically like a choose your own quest. I will be reading every single comment on this video. Please either tweet me, tag me in the comments on an Instagram post. I don't care what it is, as long as it is something. Let me know what you would do. I digress. I'm just trying to stress that I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm genuinely curious to see what you guys are gonna say. Ladies and gentlemen, there is still one more thing we need to do in this video, but I wanna make it clear. The fate of this account, this laptop, it is in your hands, so uh, Okay, let's move to the last part of this video. All right, 1 million V-Bucks victory incoming. We're giving this one take regardless of how it goes. 1 million V-Bucks W inbound. I got a shoddy. Oh my God, they're boxing. Hold on. Get wrecked, idiot. Oh! Oh no, I'm gonna do this. I have li literally no ammo. Die! Ah! <gasps> this gun is sick. Snipe one, snipe two, snipe three. There's no way this isn't a bot. There's no way this isn't a bot, but I don't care. Victory Royale. What feels better than getting a freaking Victory Royale, getting a Victory Royale, leaving your account and then seeing one million V-Bucks. Ha ha ha.